Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardinal's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardinal. And I'm Kevin. Today, uh, we're going to be playing a modern deck in standard. And it's definitely not going to be as good, but we'll we'll try to make it work. Before we do, though, we're going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Today, we are going to play Demon Shadows, or basically Dark Shadow, or what is it? Death Shadow in, in modern and standard. So... Our demon shadow here today is Scourge of the Skyclaves. It's one in a black. Star Star is its power and toughness, but it has a kicker. Four in a black. Whenever you cast a spell, if it was kicked, each player loses half their life rounded up. And why do you want to do that? Well, Scourge of the Skyclaves' power and toughness are equal, are each equal to 20 minus the highest life total among players. So even though you have to hurt yourself, you also have to hurt your opponent at the same time to hopefully get this guy going. And to have a 1919 that could do some damage seems pretty cool. Yeah. The first guy we got otherwise is uh, Fireblade Charger. He is one red for a 1 1 Goblin Warrior. As long as he is equipped, he has haste. And when he dies, he deals damage equal to his power to any one target. Yep. So we'll be able to pump him up and then chat in, swing, and go for it. Sometimes you want to target yourself to make sure your uh, Scourge can get in there more. So it's he has versatile for a one mana. The next one is Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. He's one of the only remaining Titan left to be able to play. It's a black and red 6 6. Enters the battlefield, sacrifice unless it was escaped. Well, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, each opponent discards a card, and then each opponent who didn't discard a non lane card this way loses three life. So, therefore, it helps get them down for cheap. And the escape is two black, two red. Exit all five other cards from the graveyard, and he'll just come back as a 6 6, ready to just lay waste pretty yeah. much. He, he's just an angry man. The next guy we got is the Stormfist Crusader. It is a red black for a 2 2 menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. Yep. So this helps you get lower for the, the shadow and it just gives you free card advantage. Exactly. And it helps them just go down further and further as well. And we have to have it because it's a kill spell and a creature. It's Murderous Rider. It's 1 and 2 black. He's a 2 3 lifelink. Uh, dies, put in the bottom of the owner's library. But it has Swift In, which is one and two black instant adventure. Destroy target creature or planeswalker, you lose two life. So therefore, it can help you go further down. And that is it for the dudes. Now we're going yeah. to the spells. We got Shock. One red instant. Deal two damage to any creature or player. Yeah, so it seems perfect. Yeah. The next one is Feed the Swarm. It's one and a black sorcery. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Opponent controls, you lose life equal to the permanents. Converted mana costs. Help you hopefully swing for the game. It's also black enchantment removal, yeah, which, which is yeah, like, doesn't exist. We finally have. Yeah, I know. And next is fling is a red and one instant as an additional cost to cast fling. Sack a creature. It deals damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to target creature or player. Yep. If you get this opponent or both y'all are less than ten, then this is automatic kill for sure. Yeah. Next one is called the Death Dweller. It's one. It's two in a black sorcery. Bring up to two target creature cards. Convert mana cost three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Put Death Touch and counter on, on them, or and then a Menace counter on one of them as well. Or two on one. That's weird how they worded it that way. But anyways, so this is a way you could be able to get your combo piece back up and running and even more dangerous. Demonic Embrace. It is two black and one for an enchantment. The enchanted creature gets plus three, plus one, and has flying, and is a demon. Uh, you may cast this from your graveyard by paying three life and discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Yep. So this helps you fuel the loss of life, and it also puts in the graveyard for that card we just talked about that you can just return the dude to play. Yeah. So you kind of just cheat the system, and it works out pretty well. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that you can give your dude evasion to get through. Now to help with it is Grim Tutor. It's <clears throat> uh, one and two black. Search your library for a card and put it in your hand, and then you lose three life. So you can go get your combo piece and just help you get there. Yay, Grim Tutor's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Inscription of Rune, it is one black and two for a sorcery, it's got kicker four, and you choose one. If the spell is kicked, choose any number instead. Target opponent discards two cards, return target creature card with current mana cost two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield, or destroy target creature with current mana cost three or less. So yeah, it does everything that you <clears throat> need a black card to do. Especially bring two back, or make them discard, or kill a dude. So it's all good. It's all, it helps you out, for sure. Next one is Treacherous Blessing. It's two and a black enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, draw three cards, and then when you cast a spell, you lose a life. When uh, Blessing becomes a target spell or ability, sacrifice it. So even with your other spell, if you're really down low, you can just target it and it'll sacrifice it about that, and then, you know, 
whenever you cast a spell, you lose a life. And hopefully those extra three cards will help you get there for the win. Next is Underworld Dreams, three black. Whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to them. So it just taxes them every time they draw a card. Yep. It's it's super good. It's it's enjoyable to play. Like, it sucks for them because they're just like, ah, I'd lose life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, I got one of each of those just to help balance out the life race and damage. Now for lands, we do have the Castle of Loch Thwain. It's a, the Swamp Land, which, where you can pay one, two, red, uh, two black, tap a card, draw a card, you lose a life equal to how many cards in your hand. So that can help just boost your guy up for a winning kill. Fable Passage, because I'm just running basics in this, and that's what I'm going to do, run the mountain and swamps and go for it. Now, usually that is the deck, uh, the deck list will be down below, but I do have a sideboard slash honorable mention. It's one of the new rares, it's Rolling Vortex. It's one in a red enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, uh, Vortex deals one damage to them. When a player casts a spell, if no mana was spent it, play it, Vortex deals five damage to that player. Now, this is obvious is more of a sideboard card because you can also pay red, your opponent can't gain life this turn. And that might just help you definitely get the uh, life being decks just in general. So with that, that is the deck. Hopefully you enjoy it and it's going to be pretty fun to play on Arena, so check out next week for that gameplay. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Ireland. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.